Hi everyone. You might have seen this in an earlier video of mine. It's a Raspberry Pi display case. I've been using it for quite a while and I find it really useful. And what I'd like to do today is mount it in a monitor arm. So they actually include support for that. They have the 100 millimeter Visa mounting uh, kind of bracket built into it. But what I realized is most monitor arms are kind of wobbly. So this is a, a monitor on, a, on an arm. You can kind of see the, the mounting bracket right here. And if you were to touch it, it kind of jiggles. And that's perfectly fine for a regular monitor, but for a touch screen like this, uh, that'd be kind of annoying. So I thought I would try to do something a little bit different. And this is what the end result looks like. It's very securely mounted and touch screen is very easy to work with. And it doesn't wobble. If you've ever done any photography work, you've probably seen something like this a Manfrotto magic arm and super clamp. And basically what it is, is you mount this to your desk or to a pole, and then you have this articulating arm that you can kind of position however you like by loosening this. And then you can mount your, your camera or whatever here on this uh, tripod mount. And the neat thing about this is it's very, very rigid. So it should be a lot more convenient when working with a touch screen. And if you're wondering, yes, of course, you can mount it on a real tripod. So that could be useful for robotics projects or any time where you want it kind of at eye level. It's very convenient, very secure. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you how I made that little adapter plate. It's pretty quick and easy. So the back of the display case uses a 75 millimeter Visa mount. And I went through my collection of old pieces of wood, plastic and metal. And the first idea I had was to use some brass square tubing and to uh, cut it and solder it into a kind of rectangular shape. Uh, kind of like this robot chassis I made a while ago and I have some videos on. Uh, that would work and it'd be very strong, but it's also kind of overkill. So I decided to use a piece of aluminum extrusion. I think this came out of an old power supply or some other electronics. Looks like it probably had some transistors mounted to it before. So it had a few holes already drilled and tapped into it, and two of them are kind of at ideal locations for this project. So luckily I only had to mark and drill out the uh, third hole and then just resize the two uh, pre-existing holes. So marked it out, and then uh, where I currently live I don't have a garage, so unfortunately I've got to set up work in the kitchen area, which is a little bit annoying, but oh well. Uh, anyway, whenever you are drilling into metal, it's a good idea to take a center punch and create a little divot that helps to guide the drill bit so it doesn't wander. I took a 964 inch drill bit and used that to make the two holes for the visa mount. Um, that size drill bit works really well whenever you want to have a three millimeter screw go through the hole. As you can see here, I'm using a drill press and clamps and I'm being really uh, precise. Um, you can definitely do this by hand. You can use a cordless drill. The reason why I'm being this precise is I'd like to make this adapter plate um, as perfect as I can so it'll last as long as possible. Um, I can obviously use it with the Raspberry Pi, but I also have a uh, lightweight um, portable display for my laptop that uses the same uh, 75 millimeter Visa mount. So I can probably use this for uh, future projects as well. And it's always a good idea to use some cutting oil whenever you drill into metal, uh, drill or tap. Um, it gives you a little bit better surface finish, and it keeps your drill bit from getting too hot, and it'll also keep the metal shavings from kind of gluing themselves into the flutes of the drill bit. I took this uh, countersink bit and I used it to countersink the, uh, the two holes for the visa mount, and the reason for that is this aluminum block is going to sit on the, um, the... So the magic arm has a camera mount, and it'll rest on that camera mount, and I want it to make as much contact as possible so it'll be as sturdy and uh, rigid as possible. If I just left uh, like, you know, socket head cap screws on the top, it couldn't sit flush. And you'll see that at the end of the video when I show how to mount it to the tripod and to the, the magic arm. And in the video description, I'll put a little more information on all the tools that I'm using and uh, links to them if you're curious. So check out the video description, and of course, feel free to leave comments or questions down below.
So I decided to countersink both sides of the aluminum piece. That way I can flip it around either way and have it work, um, really just for convenience. So for a tripod mount, they pretty much always use a quarter 20 thread. So it's a quarter inch thread with 20 threads per inch. So here I am going through my collection of taps and dies and uh, finding the quarter 20 tap. And the drill bit to go along with that tap, I ended up using a 3 16th inch bit. It's a little bit on the small side. Uh, I think the ideal size would be just slightly bigger than that, but I didn't have that. And uh, this worked out just fine. After drilling the hole, I uh, took the countersink bit again and used that to chamfer the edge. That way, um, after I tap it, it'll be very easy for the uh, tripod screw to uh, easily, uh, you know, kind of align and thread into the piece. So that was all of the drilling and chamfering that needed to be done. Uh, last part is to tap the hole. So here I have the, uh, the quarter 20 tap. And if you've never tapped metal before, it's pretty easy. Basically, you take the tap and you generally like run it uh, maybe two turns in one direction and then back it out half a turn or a turn and then repeat the process uh, a couple more turns in and then half or a full turn back out. That helps to break the chips and it also keeps it from clogging and uh, taps tend to be kind of brittle because they're very hard and that also means they tend to break quite easily. So uh, just be careful, take your time, uh, use a little bit of cutting oil and uh, it should work out perfectly. So again, I was trying to be kind of a perfectionist here. So I wanted to make sure there weren't any burrs left or any kind of... Uh, any problems with the surface. So I took a um, sanding block and just uh, sanded, down, sanded down both sides. So it turned out pretty good. All that's left is to wash off the oil. So just a regular kitchen soap and water and a, a little brush to clean out the holes and the threads. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. It came out pretty good. So here I am testing it onto the uh, Manfrotto Magic Arm with the uh, camera adapter. And that worked out very nice. So now I mount it to the actual Raspberry Pi display case. I need to figure out what size or what length um, screw to use. So that really depends on the thickness of the, the metal bar. In my case, I ended up using some three by 10 screws. And of course, so I made this out of metal, but if you want to keep it simple, you could just use a strip of wood. And then instead of um, tapping a hole, you can just drill a hole in the middle and then um, hammer in a blind nut. I'll put some more information in the video description. You can check it out. Um, it's pretty easy to do. If you don't need it to be like a really, um, a really fancy adapter, you can just use a piece of wood and keep it simple.
right, so yeah, here we have it. The uh, Raspberry Pi is mounted to the magic arm and the magic arm and super clamp are mounted to the desk. And then you just kind of orient the display however you want it and tighten up that, um, that center piece. It's uh, very secure, doesn't wobble, worked out really well. And same with the tripod. So if you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you know anybody that might benefit from this video, please share a link with them.